Tom Terrific's Greatest Adventure Read by David Zima Inspired by Gene Deitch and Lionel Wilson Krabby Appleton is the meanest man in the world. Holy Hoke, Massachusetts! It was hot in Tom Terrific's world headquarters in the treehouse. It was so hot that Mighty Manfred the Wonder Dog, Tom's ever-faithful companion, couldn't sleep. Mighty Manfred could usually sleep any time, any place, and in any weather, but not today. I wish I had a, a banana split with three scoops of ice cream, Manfred sighed. Well then, let's go into town and eat banana splits, said Tom. Manfred yawned and turned over. It's too hot. You'd have to hang me up to a uh, dry. Oh, that reminds me. We'll drop our laundry at Mr. Chin Lee's. Tom replied. He ran off to collect his shirts and socks. When Tom and Manfred reached town, Main Street was quiet and empty. Guess everyone's keeping cool, Tom said cheerfully. I think it's probably only a broken faucet. Mr. Chin Lee should have it fixed soon. And over at Miss Bessie's ice cream parlor, they found the door locked too. There was a sign reading, No ice cream, no ice, no water. Golly, Manfred, this is terrible. Tom scratched his head beneath his magic hat. Not a bit of ice cream on the hottest day of the year. They kept on walking past the little lake that the town used as a swimming pool. It was completely dry. Beyond it, the sign on Mr. Antonio's fishing shack read, No fish, no water in the lake. Manfred, what's going on around here? Tom asked. <laughs> I wish we weren't, moaned Manfred. Tom, <sighs> I'm tired. He flopped on his back and tried to rest in his own shade. I don't remember reading about any drought or broken water pipe or anything like that, Tom said. But what else can it be? Manfred? Duh. Come on, noble animal. Wake up and help me figure this out. Manfred opened one eye. Uh, all this heat makes me crabby, he sighed. That's it, Tom shouted. It's Krabby Appleton, rotten to the core. He must be up to some of his mean tricks. Let's walk past his house and see what he's doing. Krabby Appleton, the meanest man in the world, lived high on a hill near Old Indian Creek. His house was almost hidden by a great wooden fence that he had built to keep children out. But the two adventurers found a knothole in it and peeked through. Krabby Appleton never had a lake before, yet there he was, floating on a rubber float, sipping a pink lemonade. <laughs> Krabby chuckled to himself. Now that I've dammed up Old Indian Creek, the only place in town to get water, no one else can fish. And best of all, no one else can eat ice cream. <laughs> Krabby laughed so hard at his own meanness that he almost tipped over the rubber float. Great Falls, Montana! Tom cried. Krabby Appleton has all the water in his front lawn. We've got to do something, Manfred. There must be a way to get him to open the gates of the dam so the town can have its water back. His magic hat wobbled and bobbled on his head like the cover on a boiling kettle. Manfred, who was trying to sleep, opened one eye. Uh, you always want to, uh, think, Tom, he complained, about whether we, uh... Oh, the weather, cried Tom excitedly. Yes, that's it, Manfred. I'll turn into a thunder and lightning storm, and Krabby won't be able to enjoy his lake at all. Then maybe he'll unlock those gates. Come on, noble wonder dog. This is going to be another real great adventure. The magic hat started to spin, a whir, a bang, three pops and a toot, and Tom turned into the windiest, rainiest, thunder and lightningest storm that ever blew through the sky on a summer day. Tom huffed and puffed so hard across the lake that he blew a wave high into the air, and Krabby Appleton rose in the air on top of it. Krabby was higher than his house and teeter-tottered right on the edge of the wave. Oh, help, help, ah! He screamed, hanging on to the float. 
But there was no one there to help him. Then Tom turned into a bolt of lightning and zoomed straight down, almost through a cherry in the lemonade. Krabby Appleton was frightened, so frightened that he almost wished he hadn't built the dam. But he was not frightened enough. He hung on to his float all the time he was bobbing around in the waves and the rain. Finally, when Tom Terrific turned into a clap of thunder, loud enough to be heard from Button Willow, California, all the way to Patagumpus, Maine, Krabby knew it was time to give up. He let go of the float and waded to shore. Unlock the gates to the dam, Krabby, thundered Tom in Krabby's left ear. Oh, Tom Terrific! <laughs> I might have known it was you, Tom Terrific, screamed Krabby Appleton. Oh, you think you've beaten me this time, but I'll get even with you in your next great adventure, Tom Terrific. Ha ha ha! Just see if I won't. Krabby shook his fist and stumbled over the gates of the dam. He took out a big key. Ah, drat! With two twists and a little squeak, oh. the gates opened up and the water in Krabby's wide front lawn flowed along Old Indian Creek, where it belonged. It flowed down into Mr. Chin Lee's wash tubs, through Miss Bessie's water pipes, to the ice cream freezer, and into the lake where all the children in town were soon splashing and fishing. Back at World Headquarters in the treehouse, Tom Terrific ate an ice cream cone. She Boygan, Wisconsin, but that was one great adventure, he said. And if it hadn't been for you, Mighty Manfred, we'd never have been able to do it. Tom looked down at Manfred, who was asleep over his half-finished ice cream. Manfred? Oh, uh. poor tired wonder dog, Tom murmured softly. He's exhausted from all the work he's done. And he tiptoed out very quietly. <laughs>